Should yes. producers learn to be engineers to increase their opportunities? Uh, yes, 100%. 100%, bro. Um, a lot of the people I know in LA, specifically engineer, uh, engineering gets them in the door. It's that, you know, good engineers are hard to find, man. Um, unfortunately, beat makers are a dime a dozen now. Like, there's some amazing kid somewhere right now that's 12 years old that you've never heard of making sicker beats than anybody in this chat and it's really just about how they're gonna get in the door you know what i'm saying um being an engineer that's good will exponentially increase your opportunities um even to the point where it's even it's just like building your network when people can rely on you to do things they're more willing to give you more opportunities and so for me being a reliable engineer who people can call on and know that I'm going to get the job done puts me in more rooms than someone who might not be able to do that, who's also a dope producer. You know what I'm saying? Um, perfect example. Uh, the song I just produced with Danny Boy, Biz, and Blake for Elam. Uh, she's on Def Jam. She's French Montana's artist. Uh, Danny Boy, Danny Boy? Danny Boy Styles. Yeah, he is. Okay, is it not Danny Boy the singer? No, 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 my bad. Okay. Danny Boy Styles, The Weekends. I didn't know. You're on the West Coast. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, he does a lot of The weekend stuff. He's executive producing Elam album. Uh, I was called to be the engineer for that session. And Biz and Blake are my some of my really good friends. I cook up with both of them. I like a lot. <laughs> um, and me being there as the engineer, when it came time to create the record, I just started. I hopped on the beat, too. You know, but uh, I was in the room because I was engineering that session and recording the vocals. 